Welcome back to Little Sparks Online. I hope you've all had a great week. Can you all remember our Bible verse that we've been learning? It's found in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Let's say it together. God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. There are some things that we just seem naturally good at doing. Sometimes they'll still take a little bit of practice and can be hard at times, but I think these may be the things that God has gifted us to do. He's gifted us these things so that we can serve others through him. In the Bible, in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 6 it says therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you in the message which is a different version of the Bible it says it in a little bit of a different way it says God doesn't want us to be shy with his gifts but bold and loving and sensible don't be shy with the gifts that God has given you Use them boldly and use them to show God's love as you serve others. God gives us gifts to help others. Charlotte for showing us how clever you are at putting puzzles together. I hope you had just as much fun playing with it as we did watching you. Puzzles are made up of lots of smaller pieces that come together to make a much bigger picture. You and I are like puzzle pieces, aren't we? We each work together using the gifts that God has given us to play our part in the bigger picture. It's big message time now. And today's Bible story is we all have a part to play. So let's go over and watch the guys now. Audrey, see that piece over there? Try spinning it around. Like the longest puzzle ever. I mean, are we ever going to finish it? Sophie, you keep finding all the pieces. I'm no good at this. But one piece at a time, Audrey. We're doing great. If we stop now, then the farm won't be complete. Well, maybe there's a way we could speed this up? One piece at a time, Audrey. Look, there's only a few pieces to go. Ugh. All I see is like a million pieces all jumbled up. Audrey, see that piece over there? Yeah. Try spinning it around. Okay. Oh, hey there, everyone. Hey, Sophie. Hey, Audrey. We're just doing a puzzle. Well, you're doing a puzzle. We're doing a puzzle. And the thing is that every piece is equally important. Can we help? Oh, of course. We need all the help we can get. Like I was saying, every piece plays a very different important role, just like your eyes, ears, mouth or nose. Have you ever heard of a sneezing ear or a laughing eye? No way! Each puzzle piece was made specifically to fit, to be that one piece that helps complete the bigger picture. Wait a second, I've got it! What, Audrey? <gasps> What are you going to do with those? Well, 
Just like you were saying, Sophie, I'm going to make this puzzle piece fit where I need it to. Ah! You can't! No, wait, 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 wait. It doesn't exactly work like that. If you cut the puzzle piece to make it fit where you want it, what do you think that's going to make the picture look like? Easy. I'll just draw on it. I'm an excellent artist. That might be true, but you're not the creator of the puzzle. It's their job to make every piece fit together. And when they do, they bring the entire piece together. OK, how about I just trim it a teeny tiny bit? No? <sighs> each one of us has unique gifts and talents. Just like each piece of puzzle is uniquely shaped and has different edges. There is no one on Earth with exact same gifts. We each have something unique to bring to the big picture of life. Oh. Now, I'm not good at drawing like you, Audrey, but I'm happy to use my puzzle piece finding skills to help you. Together, we can do anything with the help of each other and God. Right. No scissors, just good old-fashioned piece hunting. Mm -hmm. God is kind. He has thought of everything. Not only has he given us gifts that we can get pleasure from, but they can bless others too. In Romans, Paul talks about the importance of letting God into your everyday life and making him a part of the small things. We can become so used to living the way that the rest of the world around us lives that we forget to include God. Paul teaches that a rich life with God means that our gifts aren't just for ourselves, but for everyone. The world teaches otherwise. God gives us good gifts so that we can give them back to others and ultimately to Him. Paul speaks more about our gifts in Ephesians 4. He wrote, He handed out gifts of apostle, prophet, evangelist, and pastor teacher to train Christ's followers in skilled servant work, working within Christ's body, the church, until we're all as one, fully grown up, fully developed on the inside, and fully alive like Christ. It's cool how we are encouraged to walk with other believers in unity using the gifts that God has given us without losing our uniqueness. In 1 Corinthians 12, Paul teaches more about the gifts. Paul says that there are different kinds of gifts, but they all come from the same one true God, and God chooses who gets what. He doesn't give everyone all the gifts, no. He determines who receives what gift. Do you know that you have a part to play and that we need you to play it? Do you know what unique gift God gave you? Have you asked him about it? You know, God has something special not only for your enjoyment, but also for the benefit of the church and the world. Isn't that wonderful? Because of God's generosity, you have something to offer others. What are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? Perhaps this is a gift God gave you. Maybe you can involve him in your gifts so that it helps others. I think that in your everyday lives, look out for the moments where you serve others and feel great. God gives us spiritual gifts in our life with Jesus. So in our lives, we can play our part in building his kingdom. Looking at those around you, do you sometimes feel like they got a lot of gifts when God was handing them out? Maybe you think they stole a few of yours when you weren't looking. I promise you that didn't happen. God tells us that we not only have gifts, but we are to use them to help others. Maybe you have the gift of encouragement. You can recognize when a friend is sad about something and you know just the right words to say to them. Or you might have the gift of teaching. You can see where someone needs help and you are patient and kind and help them learn something that you might already know. I think you might be surprised to find out just how many other people wish they had your gifts and talents. God gives you gifts to help others, so use them wisely. Hey, tiny human friend! Hi. <laughs> it's so good to be back here at church, no? Yes, 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 my friend. But I have had a rough week. No. Yes, yes, my friend. On Monday, I have a meeting with my toys uh, in which we discuss what games I think we should be playing. Yeah, on Tuesday, I have another meeting with my toys and we talk about what, uh, like, songs I think we should be singing. La, la, la. Yes, then on Wednesday, I cannot find my toys. They are having a meeting without me. <gasps> oh, I'm watching you, Mr. Snuggles. I'm watching you very closely. Mr. Snuggles. Yes, 
You think he is all snuggly, but until you know him, hmm, he's something else, I tell you what. God gives us gifts to help others. Look around you and see who you can help today. You are an important part in God's plan and have a big part to play. Just like a puzzle piece, what you do helps make up the whole picture. Without you, there would be a hole. So step up and use your gift. Serve others with it. God gives us spiritual gifts in our life with Jesus so we can play our part in building His kingdom. Hello. God gives us gifts to help others. Huh? God gives us gifts to help others. God gives us gifts to help others. We have a little craft that we can do today. Get mommy or daddy to print it out. It should be on the computer under the church Facebook page. It's got, it is a door hanger that you can cut out, get mummy or daddy or someone to help you cut out with scissors around the outside and also this circle here. And it can go on your bedroom door or maybe on your wardrobe door, whatever you'd like. You can color it in and it says, life with Jesus. God gives us gifts to help others. And then it's got our Bible verse at the bottom. God's gifts of grace come in many forms. Each of you has received a gift in order to serve others. You should use it faithfully. 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10. So colour them in, cut them out and send us a picture so we can see what you've done. We've got another craft. Mummy or Daddy can print it out for you. It's your very own puzzle. So you can see the lines here that you can cut around. Colour it in first, then cut it out and stick it all on a piece of paper and you've got your very own puzzle. Our time has ended here today. Thank you for being with us and I hope that you've learnt that you have a special gift just from God and you can use that to serve others for him. How great is that? How about we pray together and finish our time here? Dear God, thank you for giving us gifts. We want to serve you and others with these gifts that you've given us. Help us find ways to stir up the gifts that you've given us and build your kingdom. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. See you later guys. Bye.